All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Dan French and I'm back. I am ready and I'm ready to get this house sold to somebody out there. And I wanna talk a little bit about what's happening here in the Southwest. We're right about 10 miles out from Las Vegas Boulevard, right across the street. You're gonna have Town Square. It's about seven miles. McC uh, old McCarran Airport now is Harry Reid Airport. It's about nine miles away. You got Ikea. If you guys are out looking for property, or not properties, but looking for furniture for properties, you can go there. It's about 10 miles there. Summerlin's about 15 miles from here. And so it's a very centralized location. We're here today looking at uh, Delamar. It's by uh, Pulte Homes. And you got also America West. Tons of building that's going on. And we talk about this all the time where you can see behind me, that right there is tons of buildings properties that are being built right off here to the right to me to my right anyways is where other homes are being built and directly behind us so we talked about this the other day now the pavers in the front come with the house what I like about this is you're gonna have pavers that are silver or actually like a more of a grayish I like this a lot because just like the color stream of the house and that's an option for you you can get this color of pavers in front of your house a um, little bit about Pulte and what they're doing here. So $40 HOA, no SID, no LID, right? Uh, no master plan community fee. You're going to have thirty dollars to $50,000 in lot premium. So you're going to have to always add, add for that. No water softener, but you're going to have um, a tankless water heater that's going to be involved. Uh, from my understanding, a lot of these builders are not having washer, dryer, and refrigerator in some instances. From what I'm hearing, it's going to come with it but we have to make sure and, and clarify that later down the road. Sometimes they say it's there and then we ran out of inventory, right? That's that you, everybody's hearing today. So this property we're gonna look at today, I wanna talk a little bit about it. It's the Egan and uh, not Egon, like Ghostbusters, Egan. <laughs> I always remember that name, Egon from the Ghostbusters. This is a very uncommon name. So uh, the Egan is 3,097 square feet, two story home, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, two car garage. On the garage, they have an insulation that they put in uh, to keep the garage cool. It's now included. And um, so a lot of options for upgrade. What you see in this house is not what you're going to get. It's giving you ideas. And you guys will see when we go through the house what you want to get. Possibly you want to add this or talk to the, you know, me and we'll go to the builder together and we'll talk about what you can and can't upgrade into the house. You're only going to have two AC units, okay? Uh, on the three-story home, you're going to have three AC units. So let's go in and take a look at this house. All right, as you can see, we're walking in. This is a mustard colored door. It's an eight foot door. Wouldn't do that color if it was me, but that's all right. And you look at the tile here, right off when you walk in. So the tile, you're gonna have vinyl in the, wood, the, the wet areas. Then you can also pick whatever tile or whatever um, carpet that you want. Over here they have, this is just wallpaper or just some type of uh, lining that they put on the wall to, to make it pop. You got three and a half inch baseboards. You can get up to six inches on that. So that's, and it's a nice big foyer. It's a nice big area hallway to walk in to your house when you get home. And this is going to be your airflow grill. And that grill is to make a little bit less noise. So that's an upgrade, but a lot of people like that. And especially in the 55 plus communities, you really like that. So you're coming in here, nice big windows. You got 10 by 10 on the room and you have a smaller bathroom, but I want to Talk a little bit about, that's your upgrade color. Look at that color right there. So you can get that as an upgrade. That's like a gold. And you got your handles, walk-in shower here. And it, they've taken it all the way to the top. The back, you can see is uh, the same style that they had in the, when we walked in. Looks like a design that they put on the back. And then you got here, so that doesn't, that's not real tile. Let's take a look at that, maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong, I gotta get closer. So that is tile, look at that, that is nice. Look how they set that up. That's a nice tile that they have. And then you could, they took it off. They've taken this all the way to the ceiling. So your shower enclosure, it's a small shower, but look at your shower head here and also your, your handle. All of that's gonna be mowing. You got your uh, Gerber sink and your uh, Gerber toilet. So let's go back in here. Let's take a look. I wanna talk a little bit. So these are the sharp edges we talk about. So this is not bullnose. And so bullnose is gonna be an upgrade 
you know, many cases to these houses. So they've made this right here into a, and I like those windows in the back. That is, that really pops, man. Um, this could be like your office, right? You come in here, nice window, nice sun. You know Vegas has a ton of sun coming in here, so that's a beautiful area. And they've taken this tile, we're probably looking at about uh, 12 by 36 inch tile all the way throughout. You got nine foot ceilings on this, on this floor. You go upstairs, it's gonna be eight foot ceilings. But you can tell, a little bit higher, nine foot ceilings. And then $4,200 for this uh, LED fireplace. Now the fireplace can turn hot and it, you can also leave it on and it doesn't have to be hot. Looks like they put some wallpaper here. Yeah, that's wallpaper. So looking at this, this is not as big of, of open floor plan as let's say the Delano. The Egan's still great. It's got some things that, it has some things that I like about this house. Really not, like it, but um, I, you know, the last house we saw the back door, you can get this option where you have French doors. This is just your standard. So coming out here, you got the pavers to match. So those pavers will come with it. The grill does not come with the house. This patio cover, I mean, I've seen them anywhere from 10 to 10 to 15 to $20,000 for a patio cover. It's probably expensive. Maybe, maybe a little bit less, five to 10,000, I would say uh, for upgrade, but it's definitely an upgrade cost. You're not going to just get this with this house. But I do like the way it's set up. Standard size backyard. You know, you're not gonna get too much of a backyard, especially with these new homes. And then you got your two AC units on the side, 15s here. Artificial grass does not come with it. Most of what you see in the back is not gonna come with this house. And over here, you could see right off the top, look at all those houses being built over there. So you could see there's tons of, of things happening. We're gonna take a look at that also, but that's our three-story home we're gonna take a look at over there in a second. So I'm gonna come back into here and over here is where you would have your washer dryer on the bottom and you're gonna have like a storage unit like we talked about. So instead of it being when you walk in and like at the other house is the Delano, it's right here, but you're gonna have your Gerber sink and then your upgraded faucet right there, Moen faucet and also your um, toilet paper rack. So. Over here, your washer dryer whirlpool, and then you just have a standard closet here. This would go out to the garage. Let's see if they never let us in the garage. It's like they're hiding. So there's your uh, hookup, but this garage is not being open, but we talked about that. It's gonna have your um, tankless water heater. It's gonna have an insulation on the garage door to keep the garage cool. And you know what? You think that that's not gonna be a big deal, but it's gonna be a huge deal when it comes to the summertime here. So let's look at the kitchen, okay? The staple of any home is the kitchen. So I wanna really emphasize what's going on here. So you have your big handles. This is not soft clothes, but you got your big handles here. Okay, that's an upgrade. We talked about stacking, 36 inch all the way to 42 inch. So your standard here is 42 inch. It's bigger than most of these new homes. That window in the back, possibly an upgrade. Now you have, you have this where this is considered a backsplash, but again, they, they may not, it probably will not go all the way to the base of the cabinet unless you pay for that upgrade. You got your crown at the top, but you know, you could stack it. This is a beautiful open floor plan for the kitchen, which I talk about, you know, the kitchen's everybody's first, one of the key components of buying a house. This is a smaller kitchen island, and it does not have the sink in the middle like the other one did. But this is your other color. Now this, this is considered, you got your white, your charcoal, this is considered the standard. If you want anything else beyond that though, you're gonna have to get it where you're gonna pay a premium or an upgrade cost on the color of the granite. It's not bull nose, it's coming to a sharp edge, so you see that. Um, and this tile we talked about is throughout, so you're gonna have tile or vinyl just in the wet areas. Mostly you see vinyl, but you're gonna have an option too for, for tile. This is your Moen faucet, that's an upgrade. And then you got your standard Amerisink. So, Whirlpool appliances, talked about that. They've, they've looked like they've taken this refrigerator. That refrigerator should be at the other house too, because look, fits this area just a little bit better, bigger size. But you got your Whirlpool, and then gotta look at the pantry. So this pantry's not as good as the other pantry um, that we saw, because the other pantry had a little bit more room. Wasn't a huge walk-in area, 
but it, but you know, we did walk in and everything looked great. And uh, just didn't, this has this one has a little bit less room on the pantry. So look, here you're looking at the features, right? The uh, you got these um, light features here. That's an upgraded cost. You can you can get into that. Those big handles, like we talked about. And what's cool about this is it has little like this little drawer down here, which is kind of neat. And you have additional drawers and storage place for inside the uh, kitchen island here. So. Um, so that's it. You know, also on this stove, I want to say this, this stove right here, this is an upgrade. This doesn't come like this. This is a, a stove top where you have your whirlpool on the top of, uh, of the counter. So it's more of a convenience thing here. So a lot of, a lot of upgrades in this house. You're not going to get everything unless you want the house to look just like this. You might be paying a pretty good penny for this, but you can get a home that looks just like this but this home is coming and showing as what it could be for upgrades, including that crown at the top. Like I said, you could stack it and take it all the way to the top, but if you want to keep that crown, that's also an upgrade cost on the cabinets. So you can always change out your cabinets, flooring, and countertop. So really like the, the this is a smaller living room. I like the big windows. You can see out there, they're building like crazy over there, but a sm they have smaller, it's a smaller area overall. You can tell, just, just eye glance, you can tell that it doesn't have the same openness as say the Delano did. So let's go upstairs, upgrade railings. And this is the second level. So when we come up here, this is the more living area. You're gonna sit now drop down to about eight feet on the size of the ceiling. Again, three and a half inch baseboard. You can get up to six. And also you have a balcony and the balcony shows you right there. What is that? That is South Point. And you could kind of look out there. That's over there. That's the M Casino. So barely see that thing. But this carpet, you know, it's a really nice carpet. When you're walking on it, it has a really good feel to it. Good quality. You can tell good padding. So let's take a look over here. This is the linens closet. And as you can see, those are your uh, your grills, right? What do those grills do? They soft close on the on the on the door, so that way it doesn't slam. So they have three rooms. One, they have, let me show you. One, two, and three. That one over there has got a walk-in closet. So they're all connected right across the way. You have your owner suite. So this is a smaller room. You're probably looking about ten by fifteen. It's a little bit more elongated than square, and it does have a walk-in closet here. So that's your first bedroom that does have a view and right out there that is the 15 freeway going you can go north or south obviously going north you'll hit the las vegas boulevard in about 10 miles from here here's your second bedroom a little bit bigger a little bit more square i'm gonna say it's uh slightly bigger maybe 10 by 10 you know and then heading over here you have your other uh bedroom here so that's going to be the same same size. It's almost mirrors the other bedroom. Look at those hands. I don't want to do it, but somebody told me to do it. So don't don't judge me. Oh wait, I got to do it better. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing. I'm gonna fix it. I thought it was kind of cool. Nobody should be doing that. It's my crazy mind thinking. So there's your other walk-in closet. There's your loft over here. And then you got the owner's suite over here. And this is about, this is a bigger suite, 20 by 30. So this is a nice area for lounging. And you can take a look right here. You got a nice view of the mountains out there. You got all the building going on. And then you have 20 by 30. This is the owner's suite. And look at that, that's a nice lighting fixture. And this is kind of cool. They put, this is just, some looks like some pictures that they put on the on the wall there but it makes it pop so it gives you some ideas what you could do with the room as well right there you have your honeywell thermostat and you're having like i said two ac units in here this is the owner's suite over here and right in here you walk in this is your uh linens and then you have right here your like i said your upgraded faucet now this is an ultra shower and they've taken this all the way to the top. That's your tile in the back. And I love a place for sitting down, but that's your dual shower head, upgraded shower head and, and handle. 
And uh, I love this ultra shower. Like this is something when, you know, if I buy another house, cause I don't have one in my house, but I want this and I want a place like that to sit down. That'll be my thinking area. You know, when I'm coming up with all these creative ideas, that's where I'm going to be at. That's where it all starts. That's the magic people. And you have your toilet by itself. And then you got your walk-in closet. And I like this one better, how they kind of break in this, how they change this. So they, the way the shelves are, are put in here, I like it a lot. It kind of shuffles it a little bit, maybe makes it a little bit more organized. You could take things and maybe put something, you know, like your white, I don't know, whatever. Like maybe you put, you know, your suits just in one area and then your shoes and, you know, you just got different places where you can put it. So I like that a lot. Uh, but going back, that's your standard granite countertop and you got your uh, Moen faucet head. Uh, you got your sink, which is a standard Gerber. And then you look at the cabinets and this, the handle upgrades. I love how that gold pops. That's it guys, this is uh, LB Crib Tours. Subscribe to my channel, like what you see. Give me a call if you have any questions on this property. This is the Egan. We've also looked at the Delano. Uh, you can check out all my information in the comment section. I'm your go-to realtor here in Las Vegas. I love to work with you guys and earn your business. Call me, we'll see you at the next one.